Morning guys, today we're going to head into Paris and we're going to go to the catacombs. I'm so excited, I've wanted to go to the catacombs since I was wee. And we missed it last time because we ran out of time, so I booked it. Tickets in advance, so it's the first thing we do today. Ah, and that was planned as well in advance. We're hopefully going to go to the catacombs, we're going to go on a bus tour, we're going to go on a boat tour, and maybe, depending on time, we're going to try and get a museum in, but we're not too sure. We're going to go get some food for you. yummy and guilt free. Waffles. Some waffles. So we've just arrived to go into the catacombs, but we're literally 45 minutes early, and we just came across this wee cracking street here. It's like a wee open air market. We just thought we'd take you down and show you. This wee place here, just on the left hand side, it's got cheeses and all that. This wee cheese bowl here with like apricots and stuff in it. And then you've got all the, the fruit here, just all loose. This is pretty cool. Get some fruit and veg over here as well. Look at all the asparagus. And this is something Natalie doesn't like. All the fish, just it. Got the mussels, prawns, and all that. This is cool, man. And then we've got all paella and stuff. So we've got a wee bit here, just randomly out in the middle of the street, and you can just come and get your honey. Just right out of these three big tubes. It's not randomly in the middle of the street, it's outside the shop. Aye, I know, but it is still a bit random. You'd never get that out of there, bit, would you? It's pretty cool. So just continue on down here and see what else we can see. But There's a Chinese cow. <laughs> so there is. We've got some more fruit and veg just randomly out the in the street. Are so red. Oh, they're cool. And then you've got some rotisserie chickens as well you can buy we've got some horses and that up here as well no i didn't see them oh i see so you can get some roast potatoes as well with your chicken see them just here so just to show you where the catacombs is there's the train station just there in front of us and literally across the road this is it here there's the queue for it and that's the building just over there we would highly recommend pre-booking your tickets because as you can see by queue it looks as if it's going to be quite long and we we've pre-booked them. It would take two or three hours and that happened last time and we went to Eiffel Tower we never pre-booked them we were like two hours standing in the sun so I looked oh, Actually like, longer than the Eiffel Tower man it was ridiculous. Oh uh, yeah so I was like oh my goodness I don't want to waste another time just waiting so I booked tickets for 11 it's half 10 now so we're just going to go for a walk and go in but there's literally like four people in that queue <laughs> so I love just walking past people. Just outside uh the catacombs, I wanted to show you this cracking big lion statue. It's right in the middle of the road, it's amazing. This is us now, just heading in. I think it said on the audio guide there that we go down 120 steps. 20 metres down. 20 metres down. Guys, I'm not too sure how much I'm going to be able to talk in this, so I'll talk as much as I can, but it might be a quiet one. You're struggling already? That's crazy. I'm going to end up getting dizzy on this. We're almost there, honey. <laughs> Just showing you some of the guys building the catacombs. These are crazy wee tunnels down here, man. It actually looks brighter on the camera than it does. It does, it's, it's not as bright as that. And they were saying that we are 
14 degrees the temperature is in here all year round. All the city and everything's above us. It's pretty cool. That is creepy as well, mind you. Imagine how they build this. I've got all these cool inscriptions on the walls. And we're just about to find out exactly what they are. How cool is all this? I mean, these tunnels have been going on for quite a while now. Unbelievable. Just look at that. We've probably been walking for a good 15 minutes or something, and it's now just opened up in this wee area here that you see. It's pretty amazing underneath here, by the way. It's just unreal. They were actually saying they had the reason all this get like sort of reinforced and we can walk down it is because they had quite a few um, like collapses, and the king at the time was urged by the people to come and come down here and reinforce it. Check out this, guys. That is unbelievable. So I was telling you earlier about the markings on the wall. So this means that's pillar 78. G is the name of somebody. And 1878 is the date. Down there. So this is a wee model of what we're just about to head in and they were saying that the French borrowed the word catacombs from the Romans and also he's saying like um, houses round about here and some other um, of the, the grave sites the milk could go off within hours because of the spread of disease was unbelievable. This is just showing you some more. Just about head in. I was saying back there it took them 18 months to move the bones from the graveyards to the catacombs. And they were all chanting the office of the dead behind them. There's just some bones in that here. This is unbelievable. It just stretches as far as I can see, and it's on both sides. It goes all the way back there as well. Look at that. That's unbelievable. This is insane, by the way. Not too sure how far it goes, but I think it's going to go pretty far. Look, look at these skulls in the shape of a love heart. That's cool, isn't it? I mean, the way they've put them in as well is like we get a lot of structure to it. The skull's going along there and all the bones above it. And like I say, they're on both sides. Unbelievable. Look at this creepy one. Look at this wee guy's expression. It's just like a big wall of them there. So just to try and give his. Like the size of it, we've just came from all the way down there, and we just literally turned the corner. And there's like so much down here as well, we'll show you. But we can't get down here. Look at that. Well, I think we are going to go down that way. So we're just going to go around this way. Okay. 
It's just like so many bones. Absolutely unbelievable. Look at this bit in here. Some of the skulls are as if they've been like placed there. So in case you didn't hear that, this is the fountain of the Samaritan woman. You made that off this because I can speak French? No, she didn't. Look at this. It's cool. It's like a wee rim. I'll just give you a wee 360. Absolutely crazy. Like you, you're almost walking thinking, it's going to end soon. It just keeps going and going and going. Well, it goes all the way through there as well. We can't get through to that bit, but absolutely crazy. Don't take any bones. Why are people taking bones? I don't know, they just are. You'd be surprised that people want to steal. even more. Literally I just turned the camera off thinking that that is us being out but there's just so many. And there's even more, you will not be able to see the camera, there's even more behind that fence. This is just random, there's three pile of bones in a corner. And there's some more over here as well. Oh, he just touched that. You know what's going to happen to him. It's going to be a ghost is going to come visit him tonight. That's it. I presume this is why they've done it, but from a distance it just looks like a stone wall. And then obviously as you get closer you realise that it's skulls and bones. It's just, look at that, it just keeps on going. I mean obviously we're not getting to see all of it, so there's a lot more than this. Look at this, they've done like a wee design or something here. See it with the skulls? Mm-hmm. Maybe a bit in the middle there. Mm. And if I'm honest, I thought it would have like smelled a wee bit funny down here, but it doesn't. Mm. It's actually quite fresh smelling, which is weird when you're surrounded by all these skulls. It's really peaceful. Yeah, it's quite calming. Look at that, but surely I think we're going to be coming close to the end now. But I thought that a minute ago, we were literally still hundred round the corner. I 
I just came round the corner and there's like this big vase looking thing made of skulls and bones. There's just this wee break in the wall and we're just going to go in. So it just lets us stop here. This is like where the old cold used to be. Oh, right, the old wall. Right, we're going to come back out before we get stuck. And then I think that's us. We're heading back up. Just while we're up the steps, guys, I thought I'd tell you. We get the audio tour, and it's well worth it. It's only five euro. Definitely get it. We get some cool skulls in that, in the wee gift shop. Quite like this, for six euro. Oh, does it? I like these. Are they? Like that little They're pretty cool, aren't they? Yeah, cool. Oh, I really like this cardboard skull. And I got a cardboard cat here as well. Oh no, actually, the cat, sorry, is a candle. It's a magnet. A magnet? A wee book magnet? It's stuck on it. We got a few of them. Like That's that. cool. Yeah. How amazing are those sugar skulls? They're well cool, man. And they're 69 euros each. There you go, you can get a wee comb for your hair or your beard if you're a guy. And then, how cool is this for all your gothic jewellery? I think the wee stand is 59 euros.